Just Nis Nam Yeah, my name's Wino Bob. I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> and, and apparently he knows all the answers in the community to everything, where to get what, who, who, who's doing what in the, you know, in the rich hood of, so, of, of O.C. and Sig's rich fucking neighborhood. And then eventually he dies at the end. So they're like, I think we should leave his dark. wine for him. Oh, uh, oh d- w- was the wine what killed him? or uh, The loneliness. Uh, the, you know... I find that the two go hand in hand <laughs> pretty true. uh <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, are we rolling? Are we good? Yep. All right, so I'm just going to do a quick uh introduction here. I kind of like to do it. Um cuz I'm a control freak. Okay. And I just want to say uh, hello and welcome to yet another fun-filled episode of Hear Nothing, See Nothing, Say Nothing. I am of course See Nothing, your dear friend Bill Schmidt, and today I'm joined by three friends. I have here a bottle of beer a bottle of orange cello, and beside him is a bottle of wine. Folks, just a reminder, it is important to stay hydrated even during the winter months. And I guess I'm joined by Phil and Zach, too. Boys, welcome. We're, we're not part of the friends, though. No, no, no. 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 We're uh, just, just kind of scenery here. And that's really being generous. <sighs> but welcome. What's going on, fellas? Oh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, it's been good. The, the drive is nice. That and the Harold's chickens windows. Uh, what would you the Harold's chicken. yeah, Harold's chicken was great. I burned uh, I burned my thumb because those were fresh out of the fryer. Um, also, pretty sure I swallowed some chicken bone. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> good. And fill your pizza puffs. Um, yeah, I, I had to wor- have like a napkin in my hand to not burn through my calluses. So and it was dripping <laughs> hot sauce. So yeah, it was it was like. You know, ha- trying to eat out a fat chick. It was really hot in there. You know? <laughs> that I, was that Shakespeare that you just quoted. That was I think so beautiful, King mm. Lear. It was the unreal. <laughs> it was the B sides. <laughs> <laughs> the unreleased <laughs> stuff of the yeah, Shakespeare. Yeah. You know, too uh, too audio real tape. for uh, for the 15th century. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess I'm going to point out the elephant in the room. We're joined by someone who's not our good friend John, who has taken the night off. Uh, instead, we are joined by our dear friend. Zach they, they still Domino. haven't told say nothing that Hanukkah's over. <laughs> that right, he's just busy. Just I just uh, I left that on his calendar so uh, I could come in and fill in. Um, um, and we very much appreciate. But it. on the bright side, that oil is still burning. So <laughs> that's exactly right. <laughs> Fucking miracles. And that's what the season's all about. Here in January, it, it is the, uh, the middle of January. The middle of Hanukkah. Um, I like to think it's always Hanukkah, and that's just how I live my life. You know. I think that's a that's a decent way to live your life. It's a good way to wake up every morning. That's exactly right. Just to, uh, to uh, spin the dreidel, see how the day goes. Exactly right. But never burn the candle at both ends. No, because that's an affront to God. There's unless you got that, in, that unless you got an infection, and you got each candle in each ear, right? What's that shit called? Black magic. I don't <laughs> <laughs> voodoo. <laughs> <laughs> no, you never heard of that? No. <laughs> I, I, I don't know why like, they sell it at... They actually sell it at... It's like an uh, earwax removal kit? I feel like that's a... I that's think a, so. No, like no. That, it, would, that would give you earwax. No, it, it's... I forgot what it's for. I forgot exactly what it's for, but I, um, I thought it was like old where, black magic uh, Where the hell shit. do they sell but this? They actually have it at like every Walgreens and like grocery store, Walmart. Is there some sort of like... Do we not? What are they controlled by? Like witches, or is there? I don't know. That's a weird thing really just to have on on the shelves. There, yeah. right. something to look into. Um, I was like, why don't they put incense in the ears or <laughs> other things? You know, <laughs> right? why the fuck? Because it, as we covered earlier, it's an affront. I mean, to I, pro- <laughs> I probably put a candle in my ear when it's too fucking boring at mass to hold it. Sure, you know, <laughs> it's like I got to put this somewhere to go text or. Feel up some hot schoolgirl. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sandry. Fun, fun <laughs> fact: uh, I actually had one of my first sexual experiences in a church. Um, okay. The priest is very nice about it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, my gentle uh, hands. My girlfriend yeah. at the time. There was a basement in the church where uh, the occasionally the youth group would meet, and they were in the upstairs. So. We we made we made nice in the house of God and it uh, it was a beautiful scene. It was. I doubt that very much. <laughs> Will Closer. you set the stage for us? I gotta say that is the the closest I've been to climax in a, in a church. 
Closer to God. Closer to God. Would you say that was your come to Jesus moment? It, it, I, there was some coming, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, we we turn that uh, we turn that picture down, you know. Sure. Like, uh, Somebody just walk in on you, and at least you're on your knees. Finish up. <laughs> <laughs> Why did yeah, they have that she was, She she prayed really hard for uh, for that one. And how old were you? Seventeen. Okay. Right on. I am um, doing some community service, just taking a break. I was servicing something. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, really, really drunk the first time when I was in, like, fifth grade at church because I was a altar server. I think you got, like, some extra credit or some shit for religious class. And plus, I, had, I, I that's where I learned how to play guitar uh, for the chorus line. It was... that. That's the funny thing, that... To this day, I only know like six chords, and I got what seven fucking albums out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 it's, it's like the Beatles, you know. No, you could do it. You could do it with uh, a lot of simplicity. That's, no, but uh, I, I, most, most the, honestly, most most of the shit I learn through ear. Like I don't need to learn notes or anything. No, I, just I, learn by. I I hear that entirely. That's uh, yeah. that was my uh, upbringing musically as well. So yeah, but but it sucked when you had a fucking nun slapping her yardstick at your fingers when you fuck up the chord, and she's giraffe shaped. And looked like a burn victim on her face. Dude, that's, that's very scary. Uh, that's that's giving me a little bit of arousal, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Taking you back to that church basement, <laughs> Sister Mary Paul, man. Right, right back, right back there. That, uh, but she, uh, yeah, we we used to, um, you know, when they make that offering thing in Catholic church, where they're like, and now uh, we have the Jesus chips, and they make the yeah yeah the, yeah, yeah. the ringing uh, of the bells. It's called the Eucharist. Is it the Eucharist? Yeah. No, I, I thought the Eucharist it. was a thing, like an actual physical thing. That's like you can hold the Eucharist. That I think that whole it's part of the ceremony. It's actually the Eucharist, yo. The, what is it called? The Eucharist. Ah, got it. No. Uh, in Spanish, the Eucharist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, we're so cultured. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm well, so tired, I'm just uh, dragging behind you guys like, what? I don't... Oh, I get it. <laughs>